Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang target naman natin is puntahan or we need to discuss the shortcut method or one of the shortcut methods on how to factor out trinomials. This method is called slide divide method. So we will be using this one if the value of a is greater than 0. So how are we going to do the slide and divide method? So basically, we need to slide the coefficient of the first term here to the constant. So that will become x squared minus 10x plus 3 times 8. We will multiply 3 and 8 and the resulting trinomial is x squared minus 10x plus 24. So right after that, as you can see, uh, this one or this trinomial is different from the original trinomial. So this will be the trivial part here. So next thing you need to do is to factor out this trinomial. The factors of this trinomial are x and x. And then we need to factor out 24 in which when we add them, the factors is equal to negative 10. So the, here are the factors of 24. So since 24 is positive, both of the factors has negative sign. So let's start with negative 1 times negative 24. Second is negative 2 times negative 12. Negative 3 times negative 8. Negative 4 times negative 6. So, you know, you think sets of factors. Next thing you need to do is to add this set of factors. This is equal to negative 25, negative 14, negative 11. This is negative 10. Since this is negative 10, we will be using negative 4 and negative 6. So, the factors are x minus 4 and x minus 6. So what is the next thing to do? We need to borrow here the coefficient of 8. We will do the divide method, divide part of this method. We will divide this constant by 8. This is also divided by 8. So when we simplify this fraction, 4 over 8, that is equivalent to 1 half. So we will change this factor as x minus 1 half. And you have 6 over 8. And when you simplify 6 over 8, that will be equal to 3 over 4. So you have x minus 3 over 4. So we are done with slide and divide. We will repeat the part of slide. We will slide this number here and this number here so that we can form another factor which is 2x minus 1 times 4x minus 3 so this is the answer or the factors of the given equation or of the given trinomial now to verify whether our answer is correct we will do the checking so we will be using the FOIL method. Let's just copy the factors. 2x times 4x is 8x squared. Then 2x minus times negative 3x, that is negative 6x. Negative 1 times, times 4x, that is negative 4x. Then we have negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So simplifying these terms, we have 8x squared minus 10x plus 3. Therefore, the answer or the factors are 2x minus 1 times 4x minus 3. So if you have any question about this topic or method, you can comment down below and you can try this with another example. So again, I am Teacher Gon. Thank you.